Welcome back. Today we are doing the multiplane scrape. So let's go ahead and fire up Blender and get to Blender in. We're going to do a new file general. And let's go ahead and save it. We'll just call it multiplane scrape. Go ahead and save it. And let's set up for sculpting. So to do that, click on your monkey, flip into your matte caps, pick any of these funny, funky colors you want. I'm going to do this one because it's my very favorite and do the multi-resolution and crank up that subdivision. You know how we do people. And so now we have five layers of subdivision and we are ready to do some sculpting. So do control tab down and flip into sculpt mode just like that with a flick of a wrist. We are in sculpt mode and we are gonna be talking about the multi-plane scrape. And this one is a little tricky for me, I'm not gonna lie, but we're gonna use this for things if we want to kind of think of it for like hard surface modeling. Like if we have this nice smooth, funky monkey here and we want to make the edges nice and sharp and almost like robotic or just straighter edged. This is the tool or the brush for you. The multi-plane scrape comes standard with the radius and the strength and notice it does not have a positive or negative. It is just one job here people. It is to here to scrape and flatten out some angles. If we go to the tools, notice we've got auto smooth which I'm going to crank up to maybe like 0.25. And that's just going to auto smooth things as you're scraping. And then you've got your plane angle. So that will make sense here in just a moment. We've also got dynamic mode, which tries to uh, decide the angle of your planes for you, which is, I don't really like it too much, but it's okay. And then you can also show your cursor planes uh, preview as you're doing it. So what I want you to do is just click and drag on the eyebrow here of Suzanne and watch what happens. So with your multi-plane scraper, notice it kind of like, it kind of did what the crease does, but it's trying to just sharpen the edges here. And, but it looks a little terrible if you ask me, but uh, you know, it may look a little better if you had a pen tablet. I'm just using a mouse here, so it may be very difficult to draw like a straight line. Uh, but what I want you to do, whether it looks good or not, is just scrape along the edges of the eyebrows here, or really just anywhere on Suzanne that you can sh sharpen these edges. Um, notice when you click and drag, there's like these two little planes that appear, and it kind of looks like little airplane wings. And they're trying to decide, you know, what's the angle of this multi-plane scrape. You know, they're trying to find the planes. So... Notice as I was scraping along here, the planes were actually changing and morphing. That is the dynamic mode at work here. So if you undo that and uncheck dynamic mode, notice now when you scrape, it's just gonna stay locked at that 60 degree angle. You know, it's not gonna try and be flipping and flopping and trying to figure out for you what you're trying to do. It's just going to lock it in. So I usually keep dynamic mode off, uh, but you know, depending on what you're trying to do, it may be helpful for you. Uh, you can also change the angle. So if you wanna drop that angle down, maybe just five, then that's going to change the angle of those planes there. So notice it, it's like barely doing anything here. We'll do it a little bigger. So yeah, very, that actually looks a little, a little bit better in my opinion. It's just not as intense. Uh, maybe we'll go up to 10. So just play with the different angles and you know, see you know, what those feel like as you're scraping and kind of multi-plane in here. Maybe turn on dynamic mode with that one. Let's see what that one does. Okay, that one's, that's, I kind of like that. But really what it's doing is just kind of from a distance, it's kind of sharpening the edges of your design here. So maybe try and go around the ear. I'm just gonna do this at 0 0.5, maybe five. All right, let's do 45. 45 is, you know, the number for printing. So to me, that doesn't look that great, uh, but it may just take some practice or what you're trying to do. Again, the dynamic, you can see it's very like bumpy looking. So I'll just undo that. Let's try it without the dynamic. It is still a little bumpy, but not as bumpy because it's not trying to figure out, uh, you know, the planes for you. Like this eyebrow, you can see it's very bumpy, but without it, it looks a little more, more robotic, I guess, or more machine-esque. So go ahead and play with that brush. You know, play with your different auto smooths. I might crank mine up and maybe put the angle back to where it was, maybe 65, you know, 60, 75, somewhere in there. And just try and play with different things and just get kind of familiar with this brush here. 
And so I'm going to make these a little bigger and make little, maybe some corn rolls down the head here. Maybe do it a few times. There we go. And again, if you had a pen tablet, it would probably be way easier to do this. Uh, but, you know, we got what we got. And, you know, not everybody has a pen tablet, so that's okay. You can still play with the multi-scrape. And so just play around with this. You know, try different dynamic modes. Um, and if you don't want to see, you know, every time you click, you've got those little airplane wings or the plane displays. You can actually just turn those off. So if they annoy you or you just don't want to see them or you understand how the tool works, you can uncheck that box and notice now that is not appearing. And it just does the exact same thing just without that little, um, you know, visual notification there. So that is the multi-plane scrape. If you need to make things look a little bit more, you know, sharp around the edges, this may be the tool for you. Probably not the tool for me, but you know, if you need it, here it is. So let's go ahead and jump into the next brush, which is the pinch brush.